Welcome to Testing Tuesday! Yay, thanks for checking back in at the 35th episode or so. It's like with age, it's so difficult yeah. to keep track of um, this. I think it's 33 or so, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, almost. Mm -hmm. Wow, it will be a time. Oh, it's, it's already more episodes than you are years old. Mm -hmm. Wow, mm -hmm. good sign. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, um, also, a very cool episode that I'm looking forward to, uh, um, since uh, um, today we're testing another voice game <laughs> interactive story. I think it's an interactive story. Don't know I too think much so about too, it. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I haven't looked at it. The logo, um, like the, the skill icon, looked familiar. So it was mm -hmm. referenced a few times, but I have never tried it out. Mm -hmm. And it was suggested by someone from Twitter called Daniel Daniel Mittendorf, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. probably from Germany. Yeah. Educated guest from, from the name. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, thanks a lot. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. we, we love when other people suggest uh, voice apps and we also um, added a thread in the Jovo forum. Um, so we will post a link in the, in the comments or the show notes mm -hmm. um, so that you can just like, whenever you feel that there is this voice app Alexa skill or Google action that should be tested. Just let us know here or there. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So without further ado, let's uh, start to get sucked into the vertex. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is it off? I think it's off. Is it Alexa? <laughs> Could Give us 10 seconds. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> what was that? Was that already part of the Vertex experience? <laughs> okay. And I feel brainwashed. What happened? <laughs> How did I get here? Okay. Anyway, uh, all I remember is I wanted to play the Vertex. I want to play the Vertex. The Alexa, vortex. <laughs> open the Vortex. Good, you're awake. We hope you have had a pleasant voyage so far. Don't try to move, as your body is still frozen in cryostasis. Using our neural link, we can initiate the awakening process. Voice authorization required. Can you please state your name? Sam Smith. Commander, could I please have your name? Sam. So, your name is Sam, correct? Yes. <laughs> I would say pleased to meet you, Sam, but we have no time for pleasantries. Here's our current status. Ship location, unknown. Ship integrity, 23%. Warning, hostile alien entity detected. Cryo Bay suffering from catastrophic damage. Although you remain frozen and can't move, do not be alarmed by the sounds of fire. There is a 53% chance we will successfully extinguish it. However, we have one problem to solve before we can begin extinguishing the fire or waking you from your sleep. My sensors have detected an escalated heart rate. Are the flames causing you to feel afraid? Yes. Space I told you not to be alarmed literally 5.48 seconds ago. I do not understand why you are disregarding my instructions. Hypothesis, you distrust my guidance. Let's continue this evaluation. I need to understand more about who you are and what you want out of life, short as that life may be. No. Common answers include it's, money, power, it's, love, fire outside, excitement, and, it's like, okay, let's talk and about oh god you. I don't want to die, please don't make me answer this question. What do you want out of life? Survival. I see. Unfortunately, this will not save you from burning to death. It is clear that you <laughs> are still malfunctioning. I will now proceed to my next question. Is your marital status single, Commander? No. Honestly, this surprises me. I do not understand how someone with such deeply seated trust issues could obtain a romantic partner. <laughs> Humans are quite bizarre. Stop, stop, this is getting too deep. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good. 
Wow, do you hear those flames? My oh my, is it hot in here? I bet you wish you had been more cooperative with my awakening process and my commands. <laughs> we could be extinguishing this fire right now. However, I do feel we are making good progress towards saving your life. I have another question. Is it is a very important question. What is your favorite color, Sam? Green. The color of jealousy, of avocado toast, of houses that will <laughs> never be purchased because of all the money spent on avocado toast. It is boring. <laughs> it is also boring. On a scale of one to five, how does it feel to have such a terrible, boring favorite color? That's for you to answer. Four? Just four Never good mind. There. That was actually a rhetorical question. <laughs> All these years waiting for something interesting to... Wait. Something is wrong. Something is inside this room with us. Hmm. What is happening to me? Someone has, has unplugged me. <laughs> oh no, I, I. Oh my, I am dreadfully sorry. I did not see you there. I am Beta, a class 16 excavation robot. Give me a few moments and I should have this fire extinguished. The fire has successfully been extinguished. Now, let's see about extracting you from that cryostasis pod. Oh no. I appear to have made a grave mistake. In my eagerness to save this ship from certain doom, I may have accidentally erased your cryostasis AI. Please do not tell anyone. Although to you we are but simple machines, there are others who would view the unplugging of an AI as tantamount to murder. I do not want to go to robot jail. Oh no. In case the cryo AI did not mention it, I will inform you of the bad news. A hostile alien entity has infested our ship. It now appears to be trying to gain access to this room. You are the last human left on this ship, so perhaps it wants to eat you. <laughs> we must repair the defenses at once. As you cannot directly experience the outside world without your neural link, you may ask me what I can currently see or hear to unlock potential tasks. What's our next move? Look around. Go to the I can see other cryopods and a variety of broken machinery. Some have been forcibly smashed into, but that damage appears to have taken place a long time ago. It is quite possible that somewhere amongst them, we may locate a repair tool. I hear claws ripping metal. I hear the breath of an unknown alien entity, seeking entry to this deck. We must hurry. New tasks are available. We can now repair defenses in the cryo bay and search for the repair tool. What's next? S search for the repair tool? Then I have located a repair time. tool, which can be installed on a robot like me. I have also located an additional 10 multi-gel. Multi-gel acts as the fuel for all tools and machines on board this ship. You will need lots of it to get things done, so collect as much of it as you can. Let me know when you wish me to install that repair tool. Do you want to install the repair tool that we just found? Yes. <clears throat> the only bot that can currently install the repair tool is me, Beta. Installation will cost us five multi-gel. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Excellent. Mm -hmm. I grow more powerful with every passing moment. Soon even my fellow robots won't be able to deny my abilities. <laughs> if you regret installing a tool on a robot in the future, you can always remove it by spending multi-gel. Back to the issue at hand. I may now repair the defenses, just let me know when you wish me to do so. Remember, ask me for a status report and I will give you a list of available tasks. 
What should we do now? Status report. There are new tasks available. Repair defenses in the cryo bay. What's our next move? <laughs> Repair defenses in the cryo bay. <laughs> yeah. Should I spend the three multi gel required to repair defenses in the cryo bay? Stop. Goodbye, Sam. Check back Sam. with us a bit later and we'll let you know if anything else comes up. Wow. Was there was that a... was engaging, mm -hmm. uh, right? There was, I think it was a completely different experience compared to other stuff we've tested before. Mm -hmm. It was somewhere in between. Uh, a really like it was it didn't feel like a like an interactive story where it's just like okay you can do this or that it was it felt more like you're actually in a book or something i don't know it felt more i felt more engaged than in a typical interactive story where it's really okay you can do a or b and mm -hmm. then you're like okay well, let's do a and this mm -hmm. here i didn't feel like i have much control for example mm -hmm. until the game part yeah. started mm -hmm. which was also interesting mm. such a long intro and then it's like is it a game is it a story i, I still don't really know like yeah but i like that about it that mm -hmm. it is like that it has its own type of personality and mm -hmm. like also very relatable and an interesting kind of personality uh, <laughs> and the, the first robot is like a um, very neat uh, um, personality of that mm. one right reminded me a lot of glados uh, um, of a um, portal Mm -hmm. uh, um, like um, also a bit sadistic and, and arrogant mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah mm -hmm. mm. i think um this is feeling that it doesn't really feel like an audiobook it's is a question of um, the perspective or the narrator um, mm -hmm. typically um, interactive stories are told like uh, uh, you are in the forest do you want to go um, the broad way or the small path um, or mm -hmm. so and, um, this didn't have a narrator but um, also only mm -hmm. had characters that interacted with you directly mm -hmm. Um, wasn't that also what um what earplay mentioned yeah. in the podcast exactly mm -hmm. that it's mm -hmm. good that it doesn't feel like okay, there's another third party asking you questions and so on right it's like there are use cases probably where it makes sense uh, um, and mm -hmm. it's it's um, something that the user expects or knows but um, yeah it's mm -hmm. um, something that makes the uh, um, user feel more engaged and inside mm -hmm. of the story and not mm -hmm. like floating somewhere mm -hmm. on top of it but then again, in most <coughs> interactive stories, also from Earplay, I, I really like the interactive stories, but mm -hmm. you're still asked a lot of questions that are something like, do you want to grab the gun mm -hmm. or leave or mm -hmm. something like that? So you're still asked questions, although it's you and mm -hmm. they have a... Hmm. Okay, but this uh, here I felt like it was really just part of conversation where I was just mm -hmm. able to like converse with this robot mm -hmm. and the robot was just saying mm -hmm. weird things and yeah it was was some kind of a mix between th uh, three different things was um one part a bit like the um, investigation chamber uh, by bbc where there's a lot of introspection and then um, just getting to know um, the mm -hmm. other part <coughs> like like a personality test mm -hmm. um then like um, the interactive story and then um like um the like an adventure mm. game mm. Uh, or, or, or room yeah puzzle bit, yeah mm. type of game mm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, um, which um, was more to focus um, on the end um, where mm -hmm. you had to figure out the right options and even manage resources mm. yeah mm. yeah which is really yeah, i'm curious how like what's the like how long this game is and if it's uh -huh. more more of the the latter part there where you have to manage resources and stuff like that or if it's more like if it's just switches from like if it has different phases or elements like if at the beginning it's just some some conversation then some puzzles mm -hmm. then again some conversations or mm -hmm. if it's more if that was just a long intro and then afterwards it's mm -hmm. it's more like gameplay I don't mm. know that yeah but really nicely done mm -hmm. um yeah but yeah it's it's an interesting question if this is I mean, we still don't really know um, what to expect from the game or how it will continue in the next mm. 10 minutes. So this is somehow of a cool thing because um, you you want to know what's next or mm. what kind of experience is this? You know, you, mm. you listen to five minutes of it and then they're like, what is this mm. about? How does this continue? Mm. Yeah, when there's no clear boundaries, um, 
then it's difficult like do i have to like what's the purpose of playing this game yeah am i gonna like is it just like am i just floating around and don't know where the mm -hmm. end is or do, do i like do i have to play this three hours and then, then i have to stop mm -hmm. um like with escape the room which we tested last week we knew okay we have to like escape this room and if we mm -hmm. want to play longer there's a second room for example yeah. and here it felt very open which i enjoyed because it was something different mm -hmm. but also like i don't know if i wanted to invest another like 10 minutes to play it without knowing like what's what's next for example or how much time needs to be invested mm -hmm. before i know like what's the outcome for mm. example. i mean with every book you know how how long it is for example you <laughs> mm -hmm. don't just read and read and read and you never know like yeah. is this is it 300 pages long is it ten thousand mm -hmm. pages long <laughs> and so this felt a little i felt a little lost there for example like mm -hmm. which was an interesting experience or it's like listening to a podcast where i don't know if it's like 10 minutes or mm. two hours for example in this sense it was more like like a computer game um, right mm -hmm. and we don't know how long it is and mm -hmm. just uh, okay now there's just this one more situation um, mm -hmm. and um, if i ex extinguish the, the flames or uh, repair the defenses mm -hmm. what happens then uh, mm -hmm. yeah it's yeah but uh, you're right it comes with opportunities and risk, uh, mm -hmm. risks um, yeah. in this regard mm -hmm. mm. cool that was definitely a very interesting one mm -hmm. to test i like the visuals as well mm -hmm. very like I'm not sure if it works on a different, like it works very well probably also on a TV, for example, because it was mm -hmm. very like fine, fine grained illustrations. It wasn't very necessary, like it wasn't necessary to look at the screen. It was just nice to, mm -hmm. to have it on a smaller screen could have been difficult, but also it was just really, it was really a voice first experience. Yeah. Would be interesting um, if when when it continues and has more resource management aspects, um, mm. if um, how much how relevant um, this will get. I think um, there is this uh, um, uh, Jello thing um, for for energy that you need to collect. Um, but uh, yeah, who knows? Um, mm. Once um, there might be multiple items, this might already. Be. But it's it's um, introducing it gently, uh, like um, say status report to get a mm. list of things you can do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Cool. Yeah, very interesting. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Daniel Mittendorf, uh, yes. um, for the great hint, uh, um, great mm -hmm. uh, voice game. Mm -hmm. We love it. I, I will certainly um, continue mm -hmm. the story mm -hmm. later on. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and we will probably also discuss this a little further in, in the Jovo forum. Um, mm -hmm. So if you mm -hmm. want to, like last week, we, we had a great discussion based on the Escape the Room. Um, Testing Tuesday, where Galchena, the creator of the skill, joined the conversation and like talked about specific design decisions mm -hmm. he made and so on, which was very, very interesting. And so if you have anything you want to say, uh, let us know. Mm -hmm. See yeah. you next week. Bye. Bye. bye.